Hi, this is Jay Chu from the University of Memphis. In this video, we're going to use the same example to learn how to run hierarchical multiple regression. In other words, we're going to do block entry of the independent variables. So in this example, a uh, researcher wants to find out whether there's a gender gap in uh, university faculty members. The independent variable that will be included in the analysis, in addition to gender, we have uh, highest degree type, years teaching as a measure of experience, years on current job as seniority, and also I'm going to include a measure of racial background. When we decide to use block entry in mock progression, there are certain theoretical, empirical, or conceptual reasons for you to decide the order of uh, entering the variables, the independent variables, into your model. And each block of variables can be tested with this F test to show whether adding that block of independent variables will contribute significantly to the model R score. This is my data set. So we have a salary, the annual salary of faculty members measured in thousand dollars as the dependent variable. And the independent variable, in addition to sex, we have highest degree type, years teaching in higher education, years on current job. Uh, in a different video, I have showed you how to code multi-level categorical variables into dummy variables. So in this case, I have a race, which has three levels. Uh, I have white, um, coded as one, and African-American faculty member codes two, and all other racial minorities coded into three. So I uh, did my dummy coding, and I have two diconus variables that from this three-level measure of race. So one is black, so all black faculty members have a one for this particular that comes variable, and the other racial groups, they are coded as zero. For the others, this is racial minorities other than black that was coded as one, and white and black faculty members are all coded as zero in this variable. So when we do um, block entry, uh, multiple regression, we go to analyze, regression, linear. I'm going to put the academic year salary in the place for a dependent variable. And the measure of educational background, experience, and seniority into the first block. Now I'm going to enter gender as a separate block. So I'm going to click click this button that said next. Now I have block two of two. I'm going to put gender information in there. Okay, now I decide okay for the racial background I'm going to enter the two dichotomous variables together. Remember, you need to include those dummy variables together into a separate block. So I'm going to use black and others into the block three of three. Once the variables are placed into the blocks that we intended to, we come to this place, statistics, require for Descriptive statistics, since we're doing multiple regression, we want to request collinear narrative diagnostics. And in addition to those, we also want to request R-square change. Okay. 
if you're interested in checking whether you meet the underlying assumptions, uh, you can go here. And those two diagrams, histogram and normal probability plot, uh, can be requested to check the assumption of normality. And also, when you put the standardized predicted values and the standard residuals into a scatter plot, this gives you a chance to check the underlying assumption of a homostasticity. Okay, now let's do the analysis. And here is the output. Uh, we have the descriptive information and the correlation between variables in the first two tables. And in the model summary table, since you have three separate blocks, the first model, model one, only include the three variables we entered into the first block, which explained about 25% of the total variance in faculty salary. And in block two, we entered gender, so model two here have four independent variables. Okay, you can see the predictor variables listed in here. And those are the three variables entered in the first block, along with gender entered in the second block. And adding gender to this particular model increased the model R score by 0 0.013. Even though it looks very small, since we have a large sample size, 525, turned out this increase in model R score is still statistically significant um, given that we use R for equals 0 0.01. The p-value is 0 0.003 lower than 0 0.01. And in the third block, we added the two racial dichotomous variables, black and other minorities. Adding those two variables increased the model R score by 0 0.032 which is statistically significant, okay? And in the coefficient table, you can see for model one, those are three regression coefficients for those three independent variables. In model two, we have four independent variables. So we have the four regression coefficient and for the three that's entered in model one without the second block, you can see the regression coefficient, they changed slightly. Finally, model three, all six variables are entered. So the regression coefficient has more changes from the previous models because we have two more independent variables added into the model. So the interpretation of the regression coefficient is how much change you predict to see in the dependent variable given one unit increase in the one in one of the particular independent variables controlling for other variables in the model. That's why you see the change in the regression coefficient. If you decided, okay, I'm going to only report the changes here uh, without considering the racial background information, then when you write your regression equation, you need to use those reg uh, regression coefficients. However, if you say, okay, since the racial background factors are significant, I am going to include them in my final regression model, then this is the regression coefficient you want to use to write your regression equation. Uh, one thing I want to remind you that when you enter the dummy variables into your regression coefficient, uh, regression model, they need to be entered together and also you only enter those dichotomous variables you recoded from the original measure of race. You do not include 
race in your model first because it's multi-level categorical. It will be inappropriate for you to use. The second, if you use the original variable along with those recoded dummy variables, you got redundant information. So your regression model will be incorrect. So to uh, summarize, uh, block entry or the hierarchical uh, multiple regression allow you to enter your independent variables in groups. So you have the chance to see how your regression coefficient, in other words, the role of independent, individual independent variables, and the model R score progress through the model changes when you adding additional independent variables. And you have a chance to see uh, different model structures and decide which is the most appropriate model for your analysis. I've already showed you how to interpret other uh, output, like the significance and the VIF, along with the um, diagrams that check the uh, underlying, underlying assumptions in the separate model. So I'm going to skip that part here and hope this helps you to better understand the um, block entry in multiple regression. Thank you.